what's the best grass or sod for the Houston area? Uh, well, I would have to I would have to ask a couple of questions. Uh, first of all, a budget should certainly be a consideration. Uh, if you have a very large area and you're on a on a on a budget to to do this, then you need to lean uh, more towards the uh, St. Augustines and Bermudas. They are the the lower end of the price spectrum, whereas the Zoysias, uh, the price goes up significantly. Uh, they are uh, the the Zoysias, just off the top of my head. Uh, they are. 80 to 100 dollars per pallet per 450 square foot pallet more than the than the St. Augustines and Bermuda grasses uh, just generally speaking and uh, so cost is is certainly a consideration and uh, as as far as if if the if I if I had no budget and the, the I, I didn't care how big of an area or what I was spending, I would probably uh, nine out of ten times uh, pick Palisade Zoysia as 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 my favorite personal favorite anyway. Uh, it, it is uh, as long as I got that six or seven hours of direct sunlight because it does uh, it's like St. Augustine in that it does require that six or seven hours of direct sunlight per day but it checks most of the boxes for me it's very aesthetically pleasing uh, it is it feels like carpet underneath your feet uh, it, so it, it feels feels really nice it looks really nice uh, it is very similar as far as care. Uh, it, it's a lot like taking care of St. Augustine, which most anybody that's owned a home uh, has, in, in this area has had St. Augustine. So nobody has to uh, learn, uh, learn, learn how to take care of, of, of a new type of grass. Uh, so uh, that, that would be, that would weigh heavily in, on, on my decision. Uh, just because of ease of care, Any, anybody that's ever taken care of St. Augustine can can take care of the uh, of the Palisade zoysia. Uh, I would probably, as as a homeowner, I would shy away from the Bermuda grasses unless it was a, an HOA requirement, uh, simply because Bermuda grass certainly has its place. But if you have any structures in a in a yard, whether it's a house, a fence, a tree, anything that can cast shade, uh, Bermuda grass is going to struggle in those areas. Uh, it needs 100% sunlight. And uh, that that is a that is a, a tall order uh, for for a, around the house. Uh, there's not many places that there's no two two story houses beside each other, and you're trying to get grass to grow, or there's no trees around. Uh, uh, Bermuda grass has its place in, in, in wide open areas uh, and in sports fields, in my opinion. Uh, but I just uh, I, I think it uh, is asking for some headaches in a, in a homeowner's yard, uh, and, and that's just my opinion. Uh, there are the uh, there's the fine bladed zoysias as well. Uh, and if you have some shade requirements, they could be a good answer. I mentioned six or seven hours of direct sunlight for the Palisade zoysia earlier. The fine bladed zoysias, as well as the Palmetto St. Augustine, can survive on uh, four or five hours of direct sunlight. So uh, if, if shade is an issue, those three grasses uh, uh, very well may, may fill that niche. Uh, they're, four or five hours is an absolute minimum. Uh, if you don't get that, you are going to have to create that, whether it's uh, thinning, raising, or removing trees, uh, or, or whatever. But if you don't get that four or five hours of direct sunlight, we have no grass that, uh, that, will, that will grow. And I am not aware of any grass that, that can uh, withstand m more shade than that. Uh, so you that that is certainly certainly a consideration once you once you get to less than that four hours you're in my opinion you're looking at ground covers uh not grass to to cover those areas if you just cannot buy that that amount of sunlight in those areas so uh in summary i guess i would say uh the best grass is is, is kind of relative uh 
they're, they're, if, if budget is a consideration, uh, then, then I, I'm, I'm picking from this group. Uh, if, if the sky's the limit and I have plenty of sunlight, I'm probably going with Palisades. Uh, so all, all things to consider, but uh, please, if, you, if you've got questions, give us a call and we can walk you through uh, the, the things that you need to weigh when making that decision.